Well, hasn't this week been fantastic? Wall to wall blue skies, actual warm spring sunshine, signs of new growth here in the garden, as well as across the countryside. It really has been a fantastic week. Unfortunately, the day that I chose to have off is today, and it's definitely not very spring-like out here. Thick cloud, a strong wind, and there's plenty of rain on the way. But today's video, I want to look beyond that. I want to look beyond the fact that this next week might be a little bit chilly. It's something you can do now that will improve your summer display this year. I I want to talk about feeding specifically the product that i'd recommend you use for feeding your tropical style or exotic garden this spring and set them up for an amazing summer display this year so let's get started every time the wind picks up then the blossom from next door's cherry trees is falling all around me like confetti they really happen on an incredible display this spring but before I talk about the specific product, which for me, when it comes to feeding your garden, is simply the best compromise between easy to use, affordable, great, not just for your plants, but the health of the garden soil beneath them as well. You might want to see a quick sneak peek of it there as I move. Don't worry, it's not some new and untested product. This has very much been a gardener's favorite for years. It's certainly nothing new. And if you saw my video last spring, looking at chicken manure pellets, then this is definitely along the same theme. Same fertilizer, a different day if you like, but with a bit of a twist. And I think it's even easier to use. But before I talk about that, I want to talk more generally about how to improve your soil and feed a tropical style garden in general. Personally, I think that whilst a lot of these plants are very adaptable and can grow in a wide range of soils, as long as you're considerate about where you plant plants in the first place, then generally speaking, most will grow away in UK garden soils without a huge amount of fertilizer. But when it comes to getting the healthiest growth possible, and particularly in the case of big leaves, a rich soil and loads of nutrients really are the best way to get your musabaju, your cannas, gingers, colocasias, plants like that to really perform to the best of their abilities and make the most of our precious short summer months. So how do you do that? If you're wanting to grow a more arid style exotic look and you wanted to choose lower maintenance, slow growing, tougher drought tolerant plants, plants like yuccas and agaves, then they generally thrive in poorer soils and in some ways you better off growing them harder and not give them additional fertilizer. But at the other end of the scale, if you want a packed, lush, tropical style or full on jungle garden with huge summer leaves like Ensete, Colocasia, plants like Gunnera Manicata, which put an incredible amount of growth in such a short time, you need to give the plants the nutrients they need to really support that growth. And really, if I had to summarize it quickly, which I do arbitrarily have to for the purpose of this video, I would say that I have a three stage process. The easiest bit is the bit I'll talk about today. But essentially, from autumn through to spring, I like to apply a mulch to the soil, a mulch of organic matter. Yes, it takes some effort. You have to move a lot of material, but it's well worth applying a thick mulch of a mixture really of the old foliage from last year, a well-rotted farmyard manure, spent mushroom compost, your own garden waste compost that you've created. Whatever you want to use, if you apply a good thick mulch, it honestly is the best thing that you can do for your soil, an investment that will certainly pay off. You improve water retention, it improves the structure of your soil, whatever soil type you've got, it adds nutrients, it can help to mulch and protect any rhizomes, corms, tubers left in the ground over winter. That is really beneficial, but it does take some graft. At this time of year, what I want to talk about today is the time when I apply a slow release fertilizer to the surface of the soil. So use the product I'm gonna mention shortly or chicken manure pellets I used last spring because they were really cheap at Wilco's. You can even use blood, fish and bone, grow more. At this time of year, I like to choose the plants of the garden that are ready to grow right now. Plants like the Gunner Manicata here or plants that just need a bit of a top up as spring comes along, like the Trachyapis palms, the bamboos, and apply a bit of this fertilizer around the base that will help seep down and support them through the growing season. As summer comes around then, it's a great time to add specific or more fertilizer to the plants that really benefit from it. Plants like palms, Trachycarpus butea, I've done videos all about feeding them, but essentially a specific palm feed gives them the right ratio of micronutrients, trace elements that they really need for strong, healthy green growth. And then plants like the Musa Baju, the Canna, the big grasses, the real jungle plants, 
they need as much nitrogen as they can possibly get to put that big growth on. So it's well worth giving them a rich nitrogen feed every month or so from May through to August to really support that growth. So that's a rough summary of what I do. Wintertime improve the soil, springtime add a slow release fertilizer to support this growth long term and then in summer I like to give specific feed to really top up the plants that benefit from it. But today we're at stage two applying the slow release fertilizer and I want to tell you a bit more about the product that I'll be using this year. The product I'm using this spring then to support the early season growth is ideal for using on a rainy day like today when it'll get washed directly into the soil. The product is this here, Vitax 6x or 6x this is a combination of a plant food and a soil improver. Essentially a concentrated animal manure, this product is the equivalent of 200 litres of well-rotted manure. So the benefits it can bring to your garden for the price really are outstanding. This isn't a sponsored video, I'm not trying to sell it. I will put affiliate links in the description below. It's very cheap at the minute on Amazon, £12.90 a bag, gets delivered quickly. But if you want to buy it locally, support your local garden centre or nursery, that's fantastic as well. But anyway, this is starting to sound like a sales pitch. So let me tell you more about the actual benefits of this product and why I'm using it here in my garden. The first reason then why I think this is a great product, there's no escaping it, it has to be the price. At the minute, if you use the link in the description below, it's £12.90 for a 15 kilo bag, and that includes free delivery, so you can't really go wrong. One bag will be plenty for a small to medium sized garden. Here, I bought a few bags so I can really give the plants like Gunner or Amusa Baju the best start possible. Secondly, it's incredibly easy to use. You can either use gloves or just a trowel and simply put handfuls or scoopfuls of it around the plants. I don't have any specific method here other than when it comes to the evergreen plants like bamboo and trachycarpus, I generally put about one trowel or good handful around each plant. And then when it comes to the really greedy plants like the Gunra manicata, the tetrapanax, I put a few around them just to really set them up for the summer growth. Thirdly, it's slow release. A slow release feed is great because that feed's not just disappearing straight into the ground now when we might have a cool week and it can't really be utilised. So having a feed that's actually solid organic matter takes time to break down. It takes the rain to bring it into the soil like we're getting right now and the worms to take it down and then gradually those nutrients become available to the plants. So it's great for applying at this time of year if you're short on time or you want something that can actually pay off as the months go by and you don't want to worry about faffing around, mixing up fertilizers, using pipettes and giving certain plants specific feeds at certain times of the year. This way you just chuck it all on in spring and stand back and watch your garden evolve over the summer. Whilst it is slow release, I've got to say it moves into the soil quicker than a chicken manure pellet, which is definitely an advantage if you've got pets like our two dogs. I don't want to have a lot of chicken manure pellets sat on the surface of the soil when these two are around because they will nibble anything. So this way, using a product like this gets into the soil quicker and away from prying noses. So that's definitely a benefit. And it's not just the dogs that are attracted to this, it's great for the worms and the health of your soil as well. This product is based on organic matter. So unlike using a high nitrogen, very sort of synthetic feed in the summer, which over time doesn't really help your soil, look at the problems a lot of our farmers are having now with the huge amounts of fertilizer needed to get crops going if you can improve the soil itself it's definitely great long term for your garden and it supports better growth year after year so using a product like this which is based on organic matter really helps to improve the life under your soil which you can't necessarily see but you will definitely see the benefits of so it's great in that respect too but it's not all gushing, there is a slightly predictable downside to this product, it's the smell. Just like chicken manure pellets and rotted farmyard manure, there's definitely a distinctive odour. And that's partly why I'd recommend A, using gloves, and B, applying it on a rainy day like today. That way, not only will it get washed into the soil quicker, dissipating any scent quicker, but also your neighbours either side of your garden are a lot less likely to be having a barbecue that day. Because as much as I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing about the benefits of this for your plants and the health of your garden soil, that won't make up for all the guests being put off the food. So definitely apply it on a rainy day, not on a Sunday morning when we've got some glorious sun forecast, which we hopefully will have soon. Interestingly, if you go onto the Amazon link for this, they use a five-star rating to rate different attributes of their products. This one, for scent, has got 3.6 out of five. How? I have no idea. I don't know what they're comparing it to. Try some yourself and let me know in the comments below what you'd give out of five. Personally, I think anything over one, maybe two, is definitely pushing it because it's certainly a very distinctive aroma. 
just to show you then what the product looks like i'll just zoom in there for you you can see it's actually a lot more powdery than you might expect and that's why i generally recommend it over chicken manure pellets not just because they've got a lot more expensive locally this year but also because this way it goes into the soil quicker when it comes to the question of when should you use it I think now is a great time, mid-April through to May, to give the first application of this product. And yes, it does say it's a slow release and feeds throughout the year, but when it comes to greedy plants like Gunner Manicata and the other big leaf summer tropicals, I think it's well worth topping it up with some more in maybe another month or so, and then probably every six weeks or so through the summer. Nothing precise, and when it comes to precision, an equal lack of actually measuring things come to apply in it as well. So I simply get a trowel, or you can use gloves, definitely use gloves whatever you use. Don't do what I'm doing. Get some on the trowel like that. And when it comes to, ideally don't drop it all over your garden trying to juggle a camera. When it comes to plants like Fatsia japonica, tree ferns and bamboos, I simply just sprinkle it around the base and let the rain do the rest. When it comes to the Gunnera manicata, the real big greedy plants, then it's simply just a case of adding a few trowel or handfuls around the base of the plant and let the rain work it in. And that way you know your plant is set up for the amazing spring growth that's going to follow. Obviously, if there isn't any rain forecast, then it's definitely worth getting a hose or sprinkler out and letting that wash this into the soil. But really, it couldn't be any easier than that. Spread it around your garden, don't be too precise, and really prioritise the plants with the big leaves that can put on a huge amount of growth in a few months over spring. I'm sure you all agree then that that was a completely and utterly pointless demonstration and you're more than capable of applying a handful of this around the base of plants like young Trachycarpus palms, bamboos, shrubs like Fatsia japonica to really get them perky and looking healthy this spring. And then when it comes to the bigger leaf, fast growing plants like Gunna Manicata, Musa Baju, Tetrapanax, a few handfuls around the base gives them all the nutrition they need for some really huge growth this spring. It really is as simple as that. So is this product a one-stop tropical garden feeding solution? Maybe, probably not, but to me it's a great compromise and something that's really beneficial to do right now. Sure, applying a thick layer of rotted organic matter in winter is the best thing that you can do for your garden soil, but it takes a lot of time, a fair amount of effort, it's often rainy and cold outside, and it can be expensive if you're buying it in as well. And likewise, in summer, you can apply a lot of plant-specific fertilizers, dilute them down, but again, it can be very expensive when you're paying 10, 15 pound a small bottle, and it takes a lot of time to get the right ratios and water every plant in your garden by hand. So to me, using a product like this is a great way of getting the best of both worlds. You get an organic matter in the soil, and you're also giving your plants the food they need for a lot of growth without spending a huge amount of money. If you want to buy this, like I said, there's a link in the description below, but also chicken manure pellets, blood fish and bone, grow more, they all do a similar kind of job really well. And now is a great time for you to apply this to your garden, let the rain wash it in, and that way you're actually doing something productive now before it's time to plant out the summer tropical display and really look forward to what's gonna happen this season. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Maybe enjoyed might be a bit of a stretch, but it might have given you a gentle reminder that there is something you can do now while it's gray and rainy outside to help improve your summer display this year. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.